ladies and gentlemen, good night. Sorry for the long wait, we're about ready to start. First fight of the night, introducing to you first, in the yellow corner from Jamaica, give it up for Dev Cool Breeze Bawani. And his opponent from Trinidad and Tobago, Mark Sargent! All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cuff 17. The first fight of the night is being presented by Stag, Monster, Anton's Gold Rush, Edu's, Ioli, Island Bear Chill and Grill, Seabox, Waru Tattoos, Lullabies, and Ice Pro. This fight is also three rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing first a fighter standing to my right in the yellow corner. From Jamaica, representing Hybrid Athletics, weighing in at 124 pounds. This is his debut amateur fight. Trinidad and Tobago, give some love to our island brothers from Jamaica. Dev Cool Breeze Bawane! And his opponent, the fighter standing to my left in the red corner, from Trinidad and Tobago, representing Team Black Vikings, weighing in at 123 pounds, with an amateur record of zero wins and two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our local boy, Mark Las Viking Sergeant! And when the battle begins, our referee in charge is none other than the Caribbean's number one fighter, Joe Ash, Honey Badger, Walkins. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's give them some energy. Let's give them some energy. Come on. Mark trying to use his range. Ooh, big takedown by Dev. Establishes side control.
The Jamaican establishes a good side control and holding the Trini down. In MMA, the ground game is like a chess match. However, the fighters need to progress position or the referee will stand them up. Looks like Dev is trying to control the left arm of the Viking. They're working, they're working. Viking is fighting to stand up. Right. And there we go. He takes a, a reversal into the mount position. But then gets reversed. Viking using the waters. Back at the side control is Dev. Cool breeze. Cool breeze. I could do with some cool breeze right now. It's so hot in here. Left hands, left, right hands to the Viking. Just under two minutes left in this round. Knee to the body. In amateur MMA, there are no elbows or knees to the head, but they can knee to the body. Left hands to the head. Viking needs to progress. He's trying for that reversal. But Cool Breeze is just relentlessly on top of him, not giving him a chance to breathe. How ironic is that? Cool Breeze and can't breathe. One minute left for this first round. Transitioning to try to get on the knee on belly. Want to do some round and pound? Maybe going for the guillotine. Round in the back. Can he get it? With 30 seconds left, can he get this red naked choke? Wow, right hand from the bottom. Ten seconds left for this round. Neo Melly by Dev. Trying to finish it with some ground and pound. Time, round number two. All right, we're going for round number two. Ready, 
Let's give all love for our beautiful little ring girl. Come on, guys. She makes that outfit look sexy. All right, here we go. Round number two. Let's see if the Vikings game plan. Wait, wait, wait. Let's change. Okay. Mr. Honey Badger, you ready? All right. Let's go. Time. He tries for a Superman punch at the start. Hopefully trying to keep it standing for the second round. Come on, boys. Let's go. Keep the energy high. Come on, boys. Nice right hand. Uppercut. Looks like it's going to be a takedown. Back to the ground. But Viking possibly has a guillotine. He's arching. It's going to be a bit difficult to get from that position as Dev puts his foot to try and get his right leg out, possibly go to mount. But Viking with those long arms. Viking with those long arms. Closes the guard. And is he going to get out? No, Dev pops out. Ground and pound. This may look easy to some, but trust me, you have no idea how hard this really is. The honey badger has just warned them for inactivity. Dominant position with that leg over Mark's right arm. And then he uses the cage. Is he going to get up? And back down to the ground. Seems as though the Jamaican has been working his jujitsu. Trying to take down and keep down the taller fighter. Neon belly and goes to ground and pound. Yellow corner saying neon belly and ground and pound. Mr. Walkins warning the Viking for his toes on the fence. And relentless is this Jamaican. He's just not letting Mark up at all. Trying to go for that ground and pound. But he's tired. Doesn't look like those shots are doing any damage, but they are a lot. Just under two minutes left again in this round. I think these boys need some energy, guys. Let's give them some energy. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. You can do better than that. Let's go. These boys did not drink their monster today. Back in is Dev. Josh is now warning them. Inactivity, but down to the, if he gets to the mount, that's going to be difficult. Is he going to posture? His corner is saying to punch, punch. <laughs> Said punch him to the head, punch him to the chest, punch him everywhere. That's some really good advice. Ground and pound, right hands. But a tickling shots, they're tickling shots. They're not doing any damage. Bawani needs to really reach and get those shots going. Sergeant throws up the legs in desperation. Bawani spins around. 
Just about 20 seconds left in this round. Can he do anything else? Ten seconds left. That's the most amount of excitement I've seen so far. Five seconds left. Out, 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 out. Out, 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 out. Corners out, corners out. Let's go, let's go. Come on, guys, let's go. Who's going to win this fight? Last round to determine who's going to win this fight. Is it Trinidad and Tobago or is it Jamaica? Here we go. Mark like he doesn't want to come out of the corner. He's tired. Now is the time to pounce. Now is the time to pounce to try and finish it. And he goes in for the takedown. And he sprawls. Back to side position, side control position. Controlling the arms is Dev. Trying to crucifix. Right hands. Left hands. Looks like he's going for the Americana arm lock. Is he going to finish it? Back to the ground and pound. Back to the ground and pound. Our referee has seen enough of the ground. He's been saying, work, work, work. Because if not, he's going to stand it up again. Is it going to be a good defense by Mark? Can, can Dev pull off the Americana? Needs to get a better angle. He's grinding it. He's grinding it. Can he finish it? The Trini isn't giving up. He said, no way. You're not coming to Trinidad with your cool breeze and finishing me. Exhausted is the Viking. Exhausted. But he's still fighting, even from the bottom, he's throwing punches. Big right hand from Dev, like he's finally deciding to finish it. Left hand. Right elbow to the body. Sucking the win out of the Viking. Controlling him with left leg again. Hammer fist, hammer fist, hammer fist. Fighting to get back to, the, to his knees. Taking his back is the Jamaican. Can he flatten him out? He's trying to straighten him and flatten him out. Big, left, big right hands. How is he doing that? Huge range is the Viking. Definitely got a lot of spirit, not giving up, even in the dire moments. Two minutes left in this fight. Can somebody finish it? If not, it's going to go to the 
the scorecards. There he goes from a mount position trying to get the Americana. Not again. One minute left. Let's see who takes it. Right hands, left hands. Trying to fight from the bottom as a sergeant. That's always going to be difficult. We saw uh, a left hand from uh, Kevin Holland in the UFC from the grounded position that knocked out the person on top. I wonder if that's what Mark's trying to do, but Dev isn't giving him a chance. 25 seconds left. Hard fought war. 20 seconds left. Bigger hands now. He's trying to go for it in the last 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Time. Doctors, doctors, doctors. Let's give them a round of applause, everybody. Yeah. All right, guys, let's make this official. Mr. Walkins, pull the guys to the center. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, get them to the center. All right, Mr. Wilkins, let's make this official. With a time of 4 minutes, 53 seconds of round number three, your winner by ground and pound from Jamaica, Dev Cool Breeze Bawane. All right, let me talk to Mr. Sergeant first. Mr. Sa, before I get to Bawani, cool breeze. That was a hard fight, eh? It was a hard fight. He, um, he obviously came in with a really good game plan to take you down to the ground and hold you down. I think it's probably because he saw, maybe even, he, he knew about your height and he knew that you had range on him. So that's probably what he was going to do. And he also comes from a wrestling camp with his coach, Mr. Kashri, yeah. So, um, so, how did you prepare for him? Did you, we didn't know anything about him. Is his first fight? What was your preparation like? None. No preparation. Nope. I just muscle memory. Just decide to come in and throw it on. Yeah, I love the sport, and because of the work that I do, I don't really get time to train. But I love the shot. But so, any time, any day. Yeah. Well, Mister. Viking, you've always been very game, willing to throw down at any point in time with anybody. 
Thank you very much for gracing us again in the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mark, last Viking sergeant. And his opponent, the winner, Mr. Cool Breeze. You ain't bring no Cool Breeze here today, brother. Okay, I, I didn't have to step in this cage today. I, I have been training for four years. I, I stopped fighting because I wasn't able to find an opponent. And it was just, I had no reason to. And then I, my coach said, before I move away, let's have one last hurrah. So that's what exactly I did. I didn't miss a single day of training. Every day, weekends, everything. I had no reason to do this. I'm a little guy. I've never fought a guy my size. This is the closest guy to my size I've fought. And I'm just so happy to be here. Thank you for it. Yeah, well, you gave him a lot of hell, that's for sure. You kept him on the ground for... If, if, if we were scoring the control, you were controlling him probably for about 14 minutes. And not 12, 13 minutes, 14 minutes we're talking about of ground control. So was that the game plan? Was it exactly as I said? You thought he was a tall guy, lots of range. You probably didn't want to strike with him, take him down. I know your, your, your coach is a, a beast of a wrestler. So was that the game plan? Honestly, the game plan is, well, yeah. I'm a wrestler, jiu-jitsu at heart. That shit just comes easy to me. That's just who I am. But also, I'm a boxer. And I wanted to stand up with the guy, but... Uh, Looks like good on him, but he didn't have no feet to keep himself up. So it went, went to the ground, and I did my thing there. Kept control. No one can get away from me. I fight guys in the gym all the time, way heavier than me. They, this guy's light. This guy's slammable. His weight is nothing to me. So that's just what got, got it so easy for me today. Well, Mr. Bawani, your dad, where's dad? Dad, put your hand up, dad. Look, dad over there. And your brother came all the way from Jamaica to see you fight. Sure. Go ahead and say thank you to whoever you want. Let me say thank you to my coach. Kaz has been there for four years. I was a fat kid when I started his gym. And now, look at me. I'm in a cage fighting for no absolute reason. But I'm just here. Thank you to all my team. Greyjoy, Malik, Randy, Miller, my boxing coach, and especially my father, my brother, and my mother. They sent me here. My father believed in me. He did sprints with me. Was there every morning in the gym with me. My brother... Always pushing me and my mom always giving me the love. Thank you, everyone. And I'm so happy to have done this. I'll never forget this. Thank you. All right, let's give our Jamaican brother some love. From Trinidad and Tobago, your winner, Dev Cool Breeze. Bye.